Episode 56 FD June 12, 2023 Letters to the Editor from the Isle of Man in the United Kingdom and from Minnesota Residents Against Wood Smoke Emission Particulates, crawsepresidents.wordpress.com and click on the nearest right icon for the latest month, June 2023, of PDFs of articles with URLs to search on, to the right of that, bingo for ROSEP, crosswords for ROSEP, end wood smoke jeopardy and end wood smoke monopoly games with a ROSEP flyer, the untwisted game, and icon links to 30-minute YouTube videos and Spotify podcasts as well as podcasts on Amazon Music Prime, free for Prime subscribers. Podcasts.google.com, CastBox, and Pocket Cast. Pocket Cast is only free on the phone app. Pocket Cast works on Apple phones. And, below those icons, icon links to monthly PDFs of articles with URLs to search on, from May 2023 to May 2022. Are there Venn diagrams to predict a residential wood burner? A brainstorm using BARD AI. Question to BARD AI Can you brainstorm Venn diagrams to predict a residential wood burner? Answer from BARD AI Homes in colder climates may be more likely to have a wood burner than homes in warmer climates. Homes that are owned and have a higher income may be more likely to have a wood burner than homes that are rented or have a lower income. Homes that are located near forests may be more likely to have a wood burner than homes that are located in urban areas. Some additional factors that could be included in a Venn diagram to predict a residential wood burner. Older homes may be more likely to have a wood burner than newer homes. Homes with more bedrooms may be more likely to have a wood burner than homes with fewer bedrooms. Homes with more bathrooms may be more likely to have a wood burner than homes with fewer bathrooms. Homes with a wood-burning stove or fireplace may be more likely to have a residential wood burner than homes with other types of heating systems. Some homeowners may prefer to use a wood burner for aesthetic or environmental reasons. Rosep View Disproving one of logical but partly wrong answer from Bard AI homes in California and New Mexico are not in cold climates, but they have a substantial percentage of wood burners. Logical assumptions of Bard AI that may be true. Homes owned and homeowners that have a higher income may be more likely to be residential wood burners. Older homes may be more likely to have a wood burner. Homes with more bedrooms and bathrooms may be more likely to be residential wood burners because fireplaces are often sold as a luxury option, along with the luxury option of many bedrooms and bathrooms in high-priced houses. If a homeowner owns a fireplace or wood stove, that person is more likely to be a residential wood burner, rather than say, a person who starts a fire in a waste basket on a routine basis. The excuse for wood burning other than for heat or cooking that has been repeated many times on the internet by residential wood burners is the addiction to looking at a fire consume and destroy solid material or the addiction to smelling wood smoke, although both of these pastimes are not physically addictive in the way nicotine inhaled from burning cigarettes is physically addictive. Residential wood burning is also I often described on the internet as done for aesthetic reasons. Circulating on the internet is also the unfounded belief that burning wood is good for the environment. This belief is unfounded because wood burning emissions are not good for the environment. Wood burning emits more CO2, which hastens climate change, than coal burning. Wood burning emits more PM2.5 particulate matter of 2.5 micrometer size, the perfect size to infiltrate the human lung setting off a cascade of human health problems and early deaths, than coal burning. Wood burning emits 450 times the PM.5 emitted by natural gas burning. The words fossil fuel may trip off the tongue when lamenting environmental toxins from burning, but the non-fossil fuel wood when burned emits more CO2 and PM2.5 than any fossil fuel, and therefore wood burning is worse for the environment. Fallen trees could be used for constructing wood furniture or even wooden structures or houses, instead of burning it. Fallen trees could be composted into garden soil by using a wood chopper to chop wood into one-inch pieces. 
then using fertilizers or other compost-enabling materials spread lightly on the wood chips in a compost setting, could, within two to four years, produce usable soil, instead of burning the fallen wood. Heat pumps emit no or low amounts of particulate matter and CO2 and are so efficient they can lower monthly heating bills. Heat pumps also can be used in place of air conditioners to cool air within homes. There are many programs by organizations such as the American Lung Association which exchange wood stoves for heat pumps. Is Canada wildfire smoke still affecting NYC? Here's Monday's air quality readings. Published, June 12, 2023, 11.13 a.m. The view down Victory Boulevard in Tompkinsville as smoke from Canadian wildfires blocks view of NYC skyline on June 7, 2023. Staten Island Advance Staten Island, New York, Staten Island skies have mostly cleared after smoke from Canadian wildfires shrouded New York City in a Martian haze last week and triggered dangerously poor air quality. While thick plumes of smoke are no longer settled over the borough, the island's air quality index, AQI, a measure of the presence of harmful particulate matter, remains at the edge of a category considered moderate and is bordering on the threshold considered unhealthy for sensitive groups. Excerpts edited by Razep for brevity and clarity and relationship to residents against wood smoke emission particulates. Airnow.gov, which tracks pollutants, indicated New York City's AQI stood at 100 as of 10 a.m. Monday morning. However, a reading of 101, a minuscule change the five boroughs may surpass, would enter a category where people with lung disease, older adults, children, and others are at greater risk. Leftover smoke is still making a presence over New York City, but with diminishing effect over time. Each day gets a little bit better. While wildfires are still burning in Canada, the conditions that combine to make an orange haze settle over Staten Island last week are unlikely to line up again, at least in the short term. https colon slash slash www.lung.org slash clean dash air slash at dash home slash indoor dash air dash pollutants slash residential dash wood dash burning. The American Lung Association Wood burning emissions threaten lung health. Excerpts edited by Razep for brevity and clarity and relationship to residents against wood smoke emission particulates. Emissions from wood smoke, discussed below, can cause coughing, wheezing, asthma attacks, heart attacks, and premature death, among other health effects. Point one many of these pollutants can worsen air quality indoors and outdoors. Particle pollution. In some places, wood burning is the major source of particle pollution. Climate change pollution. Wood smoke adds carbon dioxide and methane to the air, two pollutants that contribute significantly to climate change. Protect yourself from wood burning emissions. Wood stoves, hydronic heaters, and other appliances are often used 24 hours a day, which can substantially worsen air quality outdoors. If wood burning is affecting air quality in your neighborhood, stay indoors. Children, older adults, and people with lung disease, cardiovascular disease, or diabetes should remain indoors and avoid breathing smoke and ashes. Special, more expensive dust masks with true HEPA filters will filter out the damaging fine particles, but are difficult for people with lung disease to use. Consult with your doctor before using a mask, especially if you have a lung disease. Roll up your car windows. When driving your car in smoky areas, keep your windows and vents closed. Air conditioning should only be operated in the recirculate setting. Put air conditioners on recirculate, stay inside as much as possible, with doors, windows, and fireplace dampers shut and preferably with clean air circulating through air conditioners and air cleaners. Use air conditioners in the recirculation setting to keep from pulling outside air into the room. Don't exercise outdoors especially if you smell smoke or notice eye or throat irritation. Avoid burning wood, corn, switchgrass or other products to heat the home or water. Especially during high pollution days, burning can add pollution to the outdoor air. Look for alternatives to heat your home.
more and more homes are shifting to alternatives such as solar panels and electric or geothermal heat pumps. Find information on these heat sources for your home at www.energy.gov. If you must burn a fuel to heat your home or water, natural gas stoves and heaters have lower particle pollution emissions than wood-burning devices. However, they need to be fully vented to the outdoors as they also produce some of the same pollutants indoors and out, including carbon monoxide. Some communities have put in place wood stove change-out programs to help communities, especially low-income families, benefit from cleaner air and more efficient heating. EPA has guidance to help communities put such program in place. The Lung Association is working with some local communities to implement wood stove change-out programs to help residents upgrade to cleaner burning, more energy-efficient heating appliances and technologies. Learn more about Lung Association Wood Stove Changeout Programs. https colon slash slash www.newyorktimes.com slash 2023 slash 06 slash 08 slash opinion slash smoke dash air dash quality dash what dash started dash the dash wildfire dot html question mark. We suffer too many fools who start wildfires. June 8, 2023. The Caldor Fire burning in the El Dorado National Forest near Pollock Pines, California, in 2021. Credit, Max Whitaker, for the New York Times. Ms. Frank served as California's first female chief of fire protection and is the author of Burnt, a memoir of fighting fire. Excerpts edited by Razap for brevity and clarity and relationship to residents against wood smoke emission particulates. Genoa, Nevada, while many of the current fires in Canada were caused by lightning, here in the States, lightning is rarely the culprit. An astonishing 80% are caused by human carelessness. With so much smoke polluting the air so early in the fire season, maybe we can finally stop thinking of wildfires as out of our control. In the American West, evidence of fire foolishness is all around us. Nearly two years ago, the Caldor Fire was allegedly started by a father and son who appear to have gone out shooting in a dry forest during California's peak fire season. A gender reveal party with a pyrotechnic smoke bomb on a high heat, low humidity day. A couple of campers whose plan to leave no trace went awry when they decided to light their excrement on fire. Marital bliss celebrated with the release of Sky Lanterns. Those were the one offs. The more common careless activities are when dirt bikers remove spark arresters for more power, homeowners try to smoke out wasp nests, and revelers take fireworks into parched hills on red flag fire days. The list is too long. It all comes down to one thing disregard for dangerous fire conditions that are becoming more frequent from climate change. If we look at California's 10 most destructive fires, Eight were caused unintentionally, more than half of them in the past 10 years. Of the 10 deadliest, six were unintentional, and they killed 169 people. Too often, we treat fire foolishness with sympathy instead of accountability. It was an accident. Mistakes happen. Who could have known? My favorite is blame shifting, it was an act of God. I've heard utility companies use this as their go-to refrain when predictable regional winds down power lines into dry grass at the base of poles no one bothered to clear around. We don't have to just shrug this nonsense off. We can charge people who start fires with reckless arson. It's one of the few tools government officials have to address Americans' abominable disregard for fire risk. The latest, public awareness, campaign, One Less Spark, One Less Wildfire, still falls short. The messages are sound, douse campfires, tighten trailer chains so they don't spark on asphalt, mow early and not where the blade can strike rocks, have fire suppression tools at the ready for debris burns and practice safe target shooting. But happy graphics and a gentle ask, just one less spark, don't provide the gut punch we need.
In the case of wildfire, maybe it starts by replacing friendly cartoon reminders with images of the apocalyptic destruction and words from those who have lost homes, livelihoods, and loved ones, and maybe not just when there's smoke in the air. One of the most effective DUI campaigns summoned everyone to duty. What if we co-opted it? Friends don't let friends set fires. Razep View this reminds Razep of comparing residents against wood smoke emission particulates with mothers against drunk driving, using the technology of PM2.5 monitors AAS well as breathalyzers to detect pollution in the air and impairment of drivers which threaten innocent bystanders in the path of the PM2.5 and the careening car. Friends and neighbors of residential wood burners don't let their friends pollute the air by continuing to burn wood. HTTPS colon slash slash www.newyorktimes.com slash 2023 slash 06 slash 12 slash opinion slash Trump dash indictment dash wildfires dash smoke dot HTML. Ms. Collins and Mr. Stevens are opinion columnists. They converse every week. Razep View. This is another example of the words fossil fuels tripping off the tongue in lieu of talking about the real polluter in this instance of wildfire, wood burning. Why is one of the opinion writers referring to fossil fuels when supposedly talking about the Canadian wildfires? The smoke is from burning wood. The CO2 which hastens climate change is from burning wood, biomass. Solving a problem has to start with identifying the problem correctly. We need to end tax breaks for wood burning, biomass burning, as well as fossil fuel burning. That will eliminate the need for fossil fuel production and end the practice of destructive decimation of forests in order to burn wood. Why wear a mask? Because of particulate pollution, which is from wood burning, wildfire wood burning, emitted at higher levels than the fossil fuel coal burning. Wood burning emits 450 times the particulates as the fossil fuel natural gas burning. Wood burning also emits more CO2 than coal burning. Excerpts edited by Razep for brevity and clarity and relationship to residents against wood smoke emission particulates. Gail Collins, one minute on the smoke that filled the city last week. Were you in town? Gail, I was outdoors, with a mask on. Joe Biden's trying hard to deal with global warming, but his plans aren't nearly enough given the scope of the problem. We need, among many, many things, to end tax breaks for fossil fuel production. Wood Burning Ovens, Commercial Outlook Commercial Wood Burning Oven Market 2023 Growing Demand, Size, and Business Outlook. BowmanExtra.com the latest study released on the global commercial wood-burning oven market evaluates market size, trend, and forecast to 2029. Global commercial wood-burning oven market size, status, and forecast for the 2023 to 2029. In-depth research has been compiled to provide the most. United States Arizona, Maricopa County News Flash, Maricopa County, AZ, Civic Engage. Maricopa County. Ozone High Pollution Advisory issued for Tuesday, June 12, wood burning in residential fireplaces, chimeneas, outdoor fire pits, and similar outdoor. Idaho, Peck. Rural communities find unique solutions to protect against wildfire smoke exposure. The Daily Yonder. In some rural communities where wood-burning stoves are commonly used during colder months, smoke is inescapable even in winter, residents may. Razep View, a letter writer in St. Paul, Minnesota, connects the obvious parallels of United States East Coast air pollution from Canadian wildfires to Minnesota residential wood-burning air pollution. Wood-burning is wood-burning. Pollution is pollution. Minnesota, St. Paul. Readers write, gas tax, education and affirmative action, state flag redesign, smoke. Star Tribune. If it is dangerous for me to breathe in the smoke produced by wildfires hundreds of miles away, and it is, why is it okay for my neighbors to burn wood? Fires. If smoke is bad, then it's bad. 
In the past few weeks, we have been breathing the acrid smoke from the Canadian wildfires. We have been hearing a lot about the short and long-term health effects of breathing in the microscopic particles contained in the smoke of burning wood. The same particles are contained in the wood smoke produced by backyard bonfires. If it is dangerous for me to breathe in the smoke produced by wildfires hundreds of miles away, and it is, why is it okay for my neighbors to burn wood in their backyard bonfires? I am tired of shutting my windows in the evening because I don't want to inhale particulate matter while I sleep at night. I think it's time for local government and state government to take a serious look at this health issue. Linda, St. Paul, Mississippi Mississippi regulator accused of pollution cover-up at Drax with pellet mill energy monitor. Energy monitor Burning wood pellets are the source of fuel at the Drax facility. Photo by Bravo 1954 via Getty Images UK-based power station operator Drax is Montana, Lake County Wildfire smoke can harm human health, even when the fire is hundreds of miles away. Lake County News Smoke from more than 100 wildfires burning across Canada has been Being exposed to wood smoke won't independently cause someone to have a Wildfire smoke can harm human health, even when the fire is hundreds of miles away, a toxicologist explains why. Chris Migliaccio, a toxicologist at the University of Montana who studies the impact of wildfire smoke on human health, on the health risks people can face when smoke blows in from distant wildfires. New Jersey, Bradford RTS Air Quality, News, Bradfordair.com Bradford Era Avoid activities that create more fine particles indoors, including smoking cigarettes. Using gas, propane, or wood burning stoves and furnaces. New York, New York City. New York air quality, as smoke lifts, will long term health effects linger? Lowhood. Lowhood. The state's alerts have been marked by exponential increases in fine particulate matter, or PM 2.5 composed of particles or droplets smaller than Pennsylvania, Pine Grove, Kimmel Lookout. As the smoke clears, be ready for next time farm progress. Farm progress. The smoke-filled view from Kimmel Lookout from the Canadian wildfires saw the sky turn a grayish-orange color, and I could smell burning wood. Washington State. It's smoke-ready week Washington State Department of Ecology. Washington State Department of Ecology PM mostly comes from wood stoves, outdoor burning, wildfires, blowing dust, and vehicle and industry emissions. Wildfire smoke is made up of Washington State Canada, British Columbia, Wood Buffalo National Park More areas of Wood Buffalo National Park close due to wildfires, CBC News CBC more areas of Wood Buffalo National Park close due to wildfires Yahoo News Canada Yahoo News Canada More areas of Wood Buffalo National Park close due to wildfires CBC News CBC Smoke rises above a lake An aerial view of a fire that's burned within 9 kilometers of Pine Lake The fire which has consumed 12155 hectares of there is still no danger to Fort Smith, but wildfires burning in Wood Buffalo National Park have forced the closure of more areas in the park. Canada, Ontario, Hamilton Hamilton and region get relief from wildfire smoke IG News. IG News The third pollutant, which has been of concern to us over the past few days, is PM 2.5. Particulate matter 2.5 microns or less, Ching said. New Zealand, Rotorua. Fire lighting tips for clean burning Rotorua NZ Herald. NZ Herald. As the temperature starts to drop, Taupo district households fire up their wood burners to heat up their homes. Razep View, one of the United Kingdom commenters on this Isle of Man letter to the editor, believes 
believes that a medical officer stating that wood burning produces pollution is on par with the commenter's belief that medical officers lied about COVID being real. It seems that some people who are pro wood burning are the types that would not wear masks at the height of the pandemic when vaccines weren't available. Both actions, burning wood and not wearing a mask, endanger the health and lives of innocent neighbors and innocent co workers. This letter to editor is about people taking responsibility for treating their fellow men and women with respect and concern as fellow human beings who deserve to live in peace and in as healthy an environment as possible. There is no need for residential wood burning. If people are indigent, there are government programs to help with heating costs. Heat pumps that work at temperatures down to 40 degrees below zero work in Alaska, and they can certainly work in the Isle of Man. Heat pumps are so efficient they lower energy bills in comparison to any other heating source. The letter writer doesn't want the Isle of Man to be left behind, since the government of the United Kingdom will supply subsidized alternatives to wood burning to those who ask for them. In the United Kingdom in many areas, PM2.5 pollution percentage, created by wood burning by only a, a small minority, less than 10% of the population, has exceeded PM2.5 pollution percentage from traffic. PM2.5, particulate matter of 2.5 micrometer size, is the perfect size to infiltrate the human lung, setting off a cascade of human health problems and early deaths as this letter goes into detail, to enumerate. Wood smoke emits $90 PM2.5 and emits CO2 at levels higher than coal-burning emissions. United Kingdom, Isle of Man Letter to the Editor, The Perils of Wood Burners, iomtoday.co.im Isle of Man Today a wood burning stove, I refer to eco design wood burners, mistakenly regarded until recently as being quite a friendly. Letter to the Editor The Perils of Wood Burners. Monday, June 12, 2023, 4 a.m. While the island is rightly concerned about global warming, our part is but a drop in the ocean and nothing we can do will have the slightest effect in global statistical terms. At the same time nothing is being done about a real menace to our health, particularly in urban areas, about which we should do a great deal and urgently. I refer to eco-design wood burners, mistakenly regarded until recently as being quite a friendly heating option. Recent research has now shown this belief to be utterly without foundation. Irresponsible users who use non-kilned dried woods cause damage and smuts which can be smelled and observed by their unfortunate neighbors, yet it is now known that users of dried wood also produce large quantities of very harmful tiny emissions known as PM2.5. The figures are indeed so dramatic they would be very hard to accept at first were it not for the reliability of their sources Professor Chris Whitty, England's chief medical officer states that while older wood stoves produce 3,700 times more toxic air pollution than gas central heating, even eco-wood burners produce 450 times more. Put another way, the European Environment Bureau found that just one single eco-design wood burner stove produced the same harmful emissions as 750 HGV lorries. A Labour MP has likened the insistence of manufacturers that their stoves are safe to that of cigarette firms who asserted for so long that their products were not harmful. Older readers may recall Craven A. Good for Your Throat. James Allen of Manchester University writes, There is no safe level of PM2.5. Even small amounts have a measurable effect on health. Air pollution kills up to 36,000 people in England each year. The World Health Organization has revealed the damage done to the human heart, lungs, and brain by the deep penetration of PM2.5, also linked to dementia and depression. The infirm such as suffers for heart problems or asthma are especially vulnerable, the WHO went so far as to label PM2.5 as the most serious pollutant for human health. Coal burning emissions have decreased massively in recent years, yet despite this, those of the killer pH 2.5 increased between 2011 and 2021 by 124%. The facts are now known. 
London has taken drastic action already. So why have our government and Douglas Council done nothing? A Guardian poll revealed 67% of Londoners favored a total ban. A ban on fresh installations here and a short term for phasing them out altogether should be introduced now, without delay. Name and address supplied. Comments. Monday, June 12, 2023, 9.03 a.m. After the COVID lies, I certainly would not class Professor Chris Whitty, England's chief medical officer, as a reliable source of information. Monday, June 12, 2023. In which case, if you feel heat pumps work slowly, turn on an electric heater. June 12, 2023. Because heat pumps aren't efficient and there's always a time when you need to turn on the heat quicker than your ground or air source heat pump is going to do it. Monday, June 12, 2023. Most people would recognize that there is quite a difference between London and inland metropolis of 10 million residents and Douglas, a small town on the edge of a windy island. As for the Guardian, it's fit only for lighting the fire. Monday, June 12, 2023, 6.36 a.m. There is no time period provided for the suggestion that a log burner produces the same emissions as 750 HGVs. We live in a country where the midwinter temperature is below freezing. Not everyone can afford alternatives, and those in older houses are already doing what they can to reduce emissions, I am sure. India, Bengaluru Air quality remains poor in Bengaluru, 10 other cities, Deccan Herald. Deccan Herald Pollution levels in 11 major cities across the country exceeded safe levels, with the average PM 2.5 levels in Bengaluru over the last 366 days. India, Hyderabad. Hyderabad's PM 2.5 levels are over eight times who safe limits, Greenpeace. The Hans, India. Studies reveal exposure to severe air pollution increases the likelihood of premature death and many medical conditions, including asthma. India, Kashmir. Air pollution and J and K's fragile ecosystem, Greater Kashmir. Greater Kashmir. In winter, Kashmir, especially summer capital Srinagar, registers an increase in high particulate matter, PM2.5, levels. India, Telangana. Capital of Telangana has South India's worst air pollution. India Herald. The PM2.5 levels are alarmingly 8.2 times higher than the permissible levels advised by the World Health Organization, who, according to A.